Mark Shannock, and today for Unit 57, I mean um, Unit 64, I'll be um, explaining and showing some examples of uh, different of different motion graphics used in different parts of the industry of motion graphics, and I will start off with. The motion graphics industry comprises mostly of animators and um, photographer, photographers where they uh, compose and well place their work into um, the product that's being made. And the first I will show of this example will be um, a movie made by Hasbro called Monopony and Questro Girl. The first motion graphic scene here is the, um, the way the images mesh together and the words look like they're on the cloud and it moves into the scene as the characters push it around. And sadly, terrible quality. And here they use sparks and different effects where the character shoots a light beam at the character that they work and then it zooms out into a, uh, an image panorama where the further you get from it, the image shrinks and looks three-dimensional where the title of the film comes up into the screen and the image hits onto the side and it turns into one flat image and here it shows the three, um, different words of the objects like the names of the uh, voice actors. And it moves with the background and, and the characters like it's an actual object. Like you're watching it moving along. There's a lot of sparks in it. Okay. Thank you. going to show was um, was a TV show graphic, but I uh, don't really watch TV, but I will go through a small explanation of how the TV industry uses um, motion graphics. In some shows, the show um, producer may add at the beginning, in the uh, introduction, um, words like dictating the, um, the characters used and the, uh, the different people in the production. As a, as in a way, they move the words into the background. They make the people walk through it, or they make um, um, like splash effects and different move objects merging with the text or the uh, person. Like it was always there, and nobody noticed it. Like it's a kind of spirit in a way. So it looks like it's really been there all this time, but nobody has ever noticed it. And they use that to kind of like keep you locked on to the show. It's like, oh, I really want to watch this. And that's what they use really to get a few attentions. And it's to use the motion graphics. The next one will be a computer game. A computer game uh, motion graphics. This one, I chose a Valve product because I know how they love using a different effects in their games. And for this one I chose the credits of um, Portal 1. First it starts with the camera parallel, um, parallelogram where the camera moves along the map. And it takes you past all these different colored objects and pipes. I've been kind of giving you a uh, industrial look. It's like you're you're looking like you're inside the factory, and then it brings you to a, a nice smooth panoramic movement with the camera, where it circulates a hole, 
and then it brings you to uh, the mysterious The Cake is Alive, where uh, you will see the mysterious companion cube, which is still yet to be found, and where lights turn on, and then a small grabber turn off the lights. Which brings up this G GUI of GLaDOS's message. Constant typing. So she's literally talking to you as well as telling you what she's saying. As well as um, secretly or uh, confusingly putting down the creators of the game. Constantly typing. And also, we will create images using ASCII art, which is um, using text to create images, which usually takes a bit of time to create as you need to have a creative mind. So the um, motion graphics used here was the camera movements and the text appearing like if she was typing to you through um, hacking tools or through um, instant messages. The next one I'm going to show you is a TV slash film advert, which will be here. This is a, uh, a movie created by Square Enix, or used to be called Squaresoft. It's called Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete. It was made, the music was made by Nobusto and Square Enix Company. In here, the different graphics they use is the parallel and the different frame rates they use. They use multiple frame rates to take different kind of um, feelings. And in this, in this, um, in this advert, the different motion graphics would be text of the. Um, very little, but text of where the company name is and the name of the, um, of the company and the name of the film itself. It's mostly animation here, but I've noticed that they put a few visual effects where they put the, um, the gunfire and the different um, spark effects as well. For example, this scene, the different monsters spin around in a puff of smoke, dictating that you cannot attack them without magic. And in this part, it shows where the different gun, machine gun arm, it uses different graphics to show where the bullets are coming out of. And in this part, the sword, the sword has a bluish glow of magic um, material and different explosion effects. And then we have the, 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 the slowness version here. The next one I will show you is a music video. This was made by a, uh, a brony, which is, um, this is a member of a fan group for the TV show My Little Pony, even though it being skeptically called gay. Um, these people are creative and they use visual effects in almost every single work they do. They are very creative people and the visual effects department is one of their favorite parts because you can do so much with it. So in this typography, uh, it shows many different effects people can use when they want to. So here the is camera pans down to the town and it keeps panning to the right. Eventually you'll start seeing the actual effects which will be text.
where it starts. So the name of the song turns up. I have time. I move to the character, so it's like going there. And it keeps moving around in different layers, so the camera zooms into a different layer and then it keeps moving around. So it looks like you're moving with the camera. And here is the motion graphic. So the texture comes in and you just run up and down and you just move into every inch of space you can find in the screen. And it moves into the moon and it switches over to your face and it comes around and it looks like you're on a train. Like you're on a train that's coming up and moving around. So you can try to up, the crackers, turn up, and build and kind of change. And it was like a slot machine, but the words came up and you find the right one. It's effective, but it's Everywhere. And it separates the words, so it's like not met at the air. So it separates each individual word into a different sentence. It's like, oh, this is different. And here we have a different two layers, literally moving up and down. And it was using probably a lot of peculiar effects where they smoothed them up the image. And the, the computer made a smoke effect showing behind it. So it looks like it was animated, but it's just a 3D effect using the probably three-dimensional program and it's turned into two-dimensional. Otherwise it would have taken too long. So in particular it's probably using source filmic or uh, a bow thing or probably even making it down. Enjoy this picture. Okay. And the final one is anime uh, graphics using um, adverts. <coughs> like banners that you find on the internet and it's this one here basically on this banner advert it comes it shows a single graphic and then it changes what it's telling you so it gives you a small amount of time before it changes its word or the people that's represented inside the um, the banner animation so it's like you, you gotta if you miss something you'll be like oh why did I miss it and then you'll keep looking and then you'll like piece it all together and you're literally sta sit sitting there on your PC or whatever what, looking at this banner trying to find out what does it say. And so using these motion graphics it urges you to um, keep looking at it. Mm. And eventually you'll probably like click on it and then you'll just go to the website or dictate it. Mm. And that concludes my uh, presentation of motion graphics. Good.